Hi there, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Happy New Year again to everyone. Hope you're doing well. I'm actually feeling much better. I've gotten over my cold and now I'm just catching up on some sleep. Really enjoying my week. I've been reading a lot of books lately. I recently finished reading a book that I wanted to share with you information about it. The name of this book is called When Quietness Came, A Neuroscientist's Personal Journey with Schizophrenia. And this book is written by a Canadian author, a woman who I've actually had the fortune of meeting. She is a co-worker's, uh, my partner's co-worker. And I, this book is about Erin Hawkes' journey in her life, uh, starting when she discovered she had a mental illness until fairly recently when she discovered the right medication that helps her live with her illness without it affecting her life too much. I found this book was a very personal and insightful account of what it would be like to have schizophrenia, and it describes in very much detail the cycle of her hospitalizations and what it was like in her mind when she was undergoing delusional schizophrenic thoughts. And if you're interested at all in learning about what it might be like to be mentally unwell, just so you can have a better understanding of what some people are going through, this is a really insightful book. I also found this book was a little bit um, overwhelming and a bit disturbing in some ways because it does talk in graphic detail about self-harm, suicidal thoughts, and um, very kind of dark kind of delusions and things like that, which, because I was reading this book on my phone, I, actually my phone was reading the book aloud to me in my ear, when, I, when the Aaron was talking about the voices that were in your head, my phone was actually speaking these words, which are like swearing and um, telling her to die and all those things. So I found the book very, very intense, and I'm glad I, I stuck it through the end because it's good to hear that Aaron was able to find a, a medication that helped her get rid of her voices in her head. And it's just so scary that some people do experience auditory hallucinations, voices in their head that sound like other people. And these voices may tell her to do things and she was unable to really have a good treatment because of those voices until she found the right medication. So I recommend this book highly. If you're interested in learning a bit more about schizophrenia and how it affects some people. And the book is available online on amazon.com and kobobooks.ca, kobo.ca, kobobooks.com. Thank you very much, Erin Hawks, for writing this book. It was very interesting, and I really have a lot more sympathy for your struggles, and having experienced some problems myself, and I know that everyone does have some sort of challenges in their life, it's very wonderful that you shared your story, and uh, I think this book will give a lot of understanding to many people about what some people go through in their mental health. Thanks a lot, Aaron, for writing the book, and I look forward to sharing more interesting books I'm reading with you online. Have a great day, and for more videos from Jeff Peters, please click the subscribe button below, or visit my website, jeffmobile.com, that's Jeff with a G. I look forward to seeing you all more on YouTube in the coming few days. I might be posting a video of some delicious Chinese food, which I enjoyed. And I, I'm going to promise you that I will think of a new joke of the day to think of you. Uh, I, I haven't really been very productive with jokes of the day lately, but I will try to think of a few more coming up soon. Okay. Actually, I, I was just thinking of a joke of the day. Oh, I forget it. I'll tell you next time. <laughs> All right. Bye.